Hello, I'm Ernest Dickerson, and welcome to Trailers from Hell. This time, we're going to talk about John Huston's Moby Dick, made in 1956. Since I was a kid, I've always loved this movie. I first saw it on Million Dollar Movie in the New York area in the 60s. Now, Million Dollar Movie used to show the same movie, 7.30, every night, all week long. My mother always used to tease me that I watched it every single night. And you know, whenever I'm flipping channels and I see Moby Dick on, I gotta watch it today. It's, it's, there's just something about it that just fascinates me. Maybe it's the language of the movie. The screenplay is by the great Ray Bradbury, working with John Huston, adapting Herman Melville, which must have been a monumental task in itself. By all accounts, it was a rocky collaboration but the screenplay does retain Melville's poetic dialogue, and the movie's all the better for it. Another thing to fascinate me could quite possibly be the haunting visuals. The whale hunt scenes are exciting and shot in an almost documentary style that makes you feel like you're really there. The faces of Ahab and his crew, some of the most interesting character faces in cinema, multiracial, raw, and real. Moby Dick, you ought to look for a white whale. Whale as white and as big as a mountain of snow to chase that white whale on both sides of land and over all sides of earth till he spouts black blood and rolls dead out. For years I saw this movie on black and white on TV. And when I finally saw it in color in a theater, I fully realized the genius of John Huston's achievement. Images of the ship life the gold coin nailed to the mask glowing in the sunlight, the St. Elmo's fire sequence, the eye of Moby Dick which fills up the entire screen, and the most haunting image of all, dead Ahab lashed to Moby Dick's back, beckoning his crew to follow him to their deaths. Set the main soul. No, sir, no! Mr. Starbuck, are you opposing me? If so, I'll have you know that there's one God that is Lord over the earth and one captain over the Pequot. Working with his cinematographer, Oswald Morris, the film negative was desaturated, then sandwich printed with black and white to achieve a unique color style resembling old 19th century sea paintings. Gregory Peck plays Captain Ahab. Yep, that's right, Mr. Straight Lace Atticus Finch himself but in this movie, he's totally off the chain, demented, and vengeful. Supposedly, Peck hated his acting in this movie, but I think he's inspiredly delirious, especially when sitting on the whale's back, stabbing him with a harpoon while screaming, I spit my last breath at thee, thou damned whale. This is cinematic delirium at its spleen-venting finest. Moby Dick, one of my favorite movies. 